The Lockheed YF-12 Interceptor was one of the most remarkable aircraft ever developed, a machine that pushed the limits of speed, altitude, and technology during the height of the Cold War. Conceived as part of the U.S. Air Force's quest for a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor, the YF-12 was directly derived from the secretive A-12 reconnaissance aircraft designed by Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works team under Clarence, Kelly, Johnson. Built primarily from titanium and designed for performance at speeds exceeding Mach 3, the YF-12 was a technological marvel and a direct predecessor to the iconic State Route 71 Blackbird. The YF-12 was developed in the early 1960s as an interceptor variant of the A-12, equipped with radar and air-to-air -air missiles. It was intended to replace the F-106 Delta Dart and provide the United States with an aircraft capable of intercepting Soviet bombers at unprecedented speeds and altitudes. The aircraft made its first flight on August 7, 1963, piloted by Jim Eastham and Bill Park. It featured a distinctive twin cockpit layout, large chines along the fuselage for aerodynamic stability, and a sharply swept delta wing optimized for supersonic flight. Its twin Pratt & Whitney J-58 engines provided the immense thrust required to sustain Mach 3 speeds at altitudes above 80,000 feet. Armed with the ANASG-18 radar system and capable of carrying AIM-47 Falcon missiles, the YF-12 represented a new era in air defense technology. Its radar could detect and track targets at long ranges, while the AIM-47 missiles could engage enemy aircraft well before visual contact. During its testing phase, the YF-12 set several world records, including a top speed of 2,070 miles per hour and a sustained altitude of over 80,000 feet, achievements that were officially recognized by the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale. These records made it the fastest and highest flying interceptor ever built, a record that remains unmatched by any operational fighter aircraft to this day. Despite its incredible performance, the YF-12 never entered mass production. The Air Force initially planned to procure over 90 aircraft, but budget cuts and the shift toward missile-based air defense led to the cancellation of the program. Additionally, the development of the State Route 71 reconnaissance variant took precedence, as intelligence gathering was deemed more critical than high-speed interception in the changing strategic environment of the late 1960s. Only three YF-12s were ever built, and they were later used for research by NASA and the Air Force to study high-speed flight dynamics, propulsion, and materials under extreme conditions. The legacy of the YF-12 lives on through the State Route 71 and the lessons learned from its development. It demonstrated the possibilities of titanium construction, advanced aerodynamics, and high-performance jet engines capable of sustained hypersonic-like speeds. More importantly, it represented the pinnacle of manned interceptor design, showcasing what was technologically possible when innovation and ambition were unrestrained. Though it never saw combat or operational service, the YF-12 remains a testament to the brilliance of the engineers who created it and a symbol of the extraordinary achievements of the Skunk Works during one of aviation's most daring